uh, maybe you are in the Jubilee Coalition and a staunch supporter of the President. Uh, what would you like to hear from him today? One, I would like to dispel uh, just what you said a few minutes ago, though you are entitled to your own opinion, definitely, that there cannot be another state of the nation, uh, nation address after the president's state of the nation address. There can only be a shadow state of the nation address by the opposition. And, uh, uh, fair enough. Their name. Uh, of course, I want to believe that we do, they do not have, the opposition does not have a common position on, or the party's position on disrupting what the president will be coming to give today. That those are individuals and as, therefore expect a lot of peace. We are prepared to receive the president and I hope every uh, member of parliament who is royal to this country will uh, be giving the president or accord him the respect that he deserves to be able to deliver his speech. On the other hand, this is um, one last serious shot by the president. An opportunity for the president today to market Jubilee, to emulate what the Jubilee government has done, administration has done for the last uh, four years. And uh, I, I am not ashamed to say that when these um, when, when, when these uh, a missing link, I, I, I pick it up. The Jubilee government has done so much, but they have done so little in terms of marketing themselves or marketing ourselves. But don't you believe that if something has been done in a country, if roads have been built, do you need to market it? Won't people see it? Well, those are visible and tangible uh, projects. But of course, we have so many untouchable ones that, that impacts on the lives of the people directly that you cannot be able to know. If you are in Mount Kenya region, you may not be able to know what has happened in Pokot, what has happened in uh, Coast, unless there is a serious marketing team that is doing that. And I want but the media surely would pick on that. Definitely. But I would like to say, apart from the media, because the media reports on events that are happening most of the times, but uh, that is quite different from what I see governors trying to do at the moment, where they are having uh, uh, the ads in, 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 in the media, trying to say what they're doing. Yet uh, some of those things that they're trying to say they're doing really don't impact much on the lives of the people. So uh, we, we expect today to be able to know as Kenyans, those who are, especially the Lemon, to know what the Jubilee government has done for the last five years. So you, you also believe, like many uh, in the country, many laymen believe that this would be perhaps the, the, the best campaign platform for the president? Uh, definitely, and I'm hoping that the president will use this opportunity uh, to cool the temperatures that are beginning to, to rise up, the, to heat up. Uh, because of the politics that, uh, uh, because we're in a, in a political season. We would like at the end of the day to have a country that is united behind politics. Because uh, going by what I'm seeing at the moment, unless we have, he stands out and separates uh, politics and the presidency, then there, there might be a small problem where we, we may be, the country may be feeling as, as if what we're doing as Jubilee is just, uh, is just uh, campaigning and not serving the people. But some would argue that the president himself has been raising some of the temperatures that you talk about, given his statements. I totally agree with you. Because even the president himself carries two roles. He is the head of state and therefore the father of this nation at the moment. And at the same time, he also happens to be a presidential candidate. And therefore, he's actually not an aspirant, but a candidate. And therefore, once in a while, he has to play politics. It's only that uh, people are not able to pick out Uru, the politician, and Uru, the father of the nation, or the, or, or the head of the nation. So let, let's give him that um, human face as well, and understand that he's also human. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Mudomi Njuki.